From fierce predators to harmless looking creatures, the animal kingdom never ceases to amaze us with their incredible instincts and survival skills. However, there are moments when even the strongest animals can underestimate their opponents and find themselves in a sticky situation. In this video, we've compiled 20 of the most jaw-dropping encounters between animals that ended up in a surprising outcome. Get ready to witness the unexpected as we have a closer look at these epic battles between creatures big and small. These are 20 times animals messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Lion vs. Turtle I'm going to begin with one that you would swear was fake, but the video clip doesn't lie. When you think of lions, you picture them as one of the undisputed apex predators of the world. After all, they're big and powerful, and they have a pride that backs them up at times when they're hunting, should they be a female lion, that is. As for turtles, while they are clever creatures because of their armor, aka their shells, there are only a few species that are a threat to anyone. You might think I'm talking about the massive alligator snapping turtle, and how one of them went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lion and actually won, but I'm not. I'm talking about a regular turtle who beat a lion several times. But how is that even possible? The answer is timing and being clever. In the clip, a group of lions is at a watering hole doing their thing and staying hydrated. But then a small turtle pops out of the water and starts eyeing the set. He sees them drinking from the watering hole and decides to say hello and scare them out of his home. But how does a turtle scare a lion? Well, by trying to bite their tongues. If you think about it, that's pretty clever, as that's something that it could do, and given its size, it's able to sneak up on them rather easily. Now, typically, you'd expect the lion to maybe get bit once before it lashes back and decides to make turtle soup out of its opponent, but instead, the female lion doesn't do anything but react in shock, and the male lion doesn't want any part of it. A turtle just beat a pair of lions. What a world. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This is the classic example of when tigers and lions face each other. This story took place in a zoo where a lion and tiger had previously gotten along okay, but everything would change. One day, the lion decided to try his luck and steal some of the tiger's food while he was busy basking in the sun. The tiger, however, was quick to react and pounced on the lion before he could even make a move. A fierce battle would ensue between the two, and the lion barely managed to escape with his life. From that day on, it never dared mess with the tiger's food again. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Lucky Deer Going back to close encounters of the animal kind, we'll now talk about this very realistic scenario between a deer and a crocodile. This story plays out many times in the wild, and it almost always goes badly for the deer. But why? Well, that's because crocodiles are legendary and infamous for their ambush capabilities. They'll blend themselves into places like a watering hole or a river, and then slowly approach the target. Then, once they're within range, they strike, and the sudden burst out of the water mixed with their long jaws is usually enough to stun opponents long enough for the jaws to wrap around the body. After that, they'll pull the body into the water and then drown it so that they can then eat. But that's not what happened with this deer. This bush buck was doing its thing and enjoying some refreshing water, and you know the crocodile's coming because of what we just told you, but you don't see the croc. You might have expected to see a piece of its head sticking out, but it's so perfectly submerged that you don't see the beast until it lashes out. And when it does, the deer barely gets away, and knowing that it missed its chance at its meal, the crocodile then slinks back into the water never to be seen again, until it's ready to commit murder. Another way to notice how stealthy the croc was is to look not only at the deer, but the birds. The birds are near the watering hole as well and chatting away without a care in the world, but the moment the croc bursts out of the water, they're flapping away, properly saying, bloody murder, along the way. The deer got lucky this time, but the next time, it may not. Number 18. The Split Second Decision 
When it comes to being in the wild, where the threat of an enemy is everywhere all at once and yet somehow nowhere, your life can be determined in a split-second decision. That goes double when you begin dealing with beasts that are incredibly fast and can be on you within a moment's notice. Here, we have a shot of a gazelle drinking from a watering hole out in a safari, and this won't play the same way exactly as the crocodile video from before, so pay attention. Because the gazelle does not suspect any danger and it has no real reason to feel threatened, until a female lion comes barreling out of nowhere at full speed in an attempt to catch it. But that's where the split decision thinking comes in, because instead of just beating it for the safari and starting a grand old chase, the gazelle does a juke move. He jukes in one direction to make the lioness think that it's going the way that she wants it to, and then does a 180 and runs the other way. The lion's already at full speed and sprint, so it doesn't have the ability to stop on a dime and turn around to catch the gazelle. And you can tell even the cameraman is wanting to see whether the lion returns, but it doesn't, and all you see is the dust trail from where it ran. Lions are often praised for their hunting abilities as well as their natural ones, so if this video proves nothing else to you, let it show that even the kings and queens of the jungle can be fooled. Now, I'm not saying you should use this juking move against a lion, as there are many reasons why this may have worked, but if you can keep a level head, you might just live to see another day. Number 17. Patience whether you're a human hunting an animal or a predator hunting its prey out in the animal kingdom, patience is paramount. If a human rushes to find prey or to try to kill it, the prey can pick up on them and get out of range before they can do anything else. The same can happen to predators in the wild if they rush, like with the lion or crocodile that you saw before. Now, you don't typically hear of prey needing patience to escape their predators, though. As you've just seen, you need lightning-fast reflexes to sometimes survive. But what if you're an animal with a built-in defense mechanism to shield you from harm? For you, it may not matter if the predator catches you, so long as you wait for them to screw up afterwards. Here we have a shot of a small crocodile trying to munch on a decent-sized turtle. The key word is trying, because as hard as that crocodile tries to munch, It can't break the turtle's shell. It just keeps on chomping and chomping to get to that nougat center, but to no avail. And that's where the patience aspect comes in here, because the turtle doesn't struggle with the crocodile. Instead, it allows the beast to try and break the shell. And when it fails, the crocodile accidentally drops the turtle on the ground. And when it does, the turtle shows surprising speed and gets back into the water before the croc can realize what had happened. It is pretty hilarious because it's two different turtles going up against two different predators that you know would have lost most of the time. But because of being bold, being clever, and being patient, both of the turtles survived. So perhaps in the future, you should treat your pet turtle with a bit more respect. Number 16. One out of two. There are many animals out there who frankly boggle the mind with their feats of strength, speed, endurance, adaptations to nature, and more. And for the bird known as the Golden Eagle, they're revered for their brute strength, power, and their talents. Their classic tactic is to soar down towards the cliffs of an area and grab things within those talons, and then they'll lift them off the face of the mountain or hill, soar for a while, and drop them to their doom. What's important here is that they can lift things that are actually heavier than they are, which you're probably seeing right now with this first clip. Now, the eagle snatches a goat from the mountain and they soar together through the skies until it's time for the drop-off. But for the second attack, by a different eagle, things don't go so well. Instead, they go horribly wrong. The goat resists the attack, and the eagle's talons are in the goat, but they're barreling down the mountain face together at high speeds, and sometimes rolling on top of each other. It also doesn't help that the goat has a backup that is trying to get to them as well. Despite all of that rolling, though, the eagle does hang on, and it's only when they go full speed into a rock and then stumble down the mountain more does the eagle finally release its grip. There are a lot of things to be praised here, which includes the tenacity of the eagle to not let go of its prey, and the goat being smart enough and endurant enough to last until the bird of prey finally let go. Nature does love to surprise people, and we were all definitely surprised when we first watched this. Number 15. Bear Country When you're out in the woods where the bears can live, the last thing that you want to do is to tick them off. 
Bears are faster than you, they're stronger than you, and in some way, they're actually smarter than you. And they can also take two forms with you by running on all fours or leaning back on two legs so that they can strike you with their claws. But what happens when two bears go to battle for everyone to see? Well, the footage that you're seeing comes from a documentary called Grizzly Man. I won't explain the entire thing, but let's just say that bears are willing to eat the people that are making them famous to the world. Anyways, here we have two Alaskan brown bears who at first don't seem to care that the other is in their space. Then they start to make moves towards each other. The fight starts out as anything but ferocious, and you even think this is boring at one point, but then the action intensifies in the blink of an eye, and suddenly it's an all-out scrum between the two. It's a terrifying display of both speed and strength as the two bears go at it in a display of dominance. The fight isn't short either. It goes on for several minutes on end until one of the two finally yields and a slow walk ends the feud. Animals fight just as much as humans do when it comes to territory and what's theirs, and they won't be afraid to fight you if you make a mistake against them. So you should never get too close, at least close enough to make a mistake. Number 14. Kicking off the chase. The next one is a bit of a blink and you'll miss it kind of moment. In Africa, a pride of lionesses were trying to catch a wildebeest. Yes, unlike the Lion King, wildebeests are actually caught and then eaten and not just used to cause a stampede in the gorge that would kill James Earl Jones. I mean, Mufasa. You know what I meant. Anyways, the lionesses are in full speed pursuit of this beast, and the camera person is no doubt loving the great footage that they're getting. But if you're wondering why they didn't catch it, well, that's because the wildebeest did quite an athletic move to begin the hunt. Specifically, as the lioness were trying to contain him within the pride, the wildebeest jumps and then kicks one of them right in the head, knocking it to the ground while the wildebeest stayed upright. The wildebeest just kept on going because it knew the hunt wasn't over, but as you can see by the end of the clip, it was able to get a little bit more padding between it and the hunting party. And that could mean life or death. These animals know that they have to be quick and agile to get away from predators like lions, and this shows just how legit that their skills are. Number 13. Cat vs. Coyote any house cat owners in here? Well, if so, then you know that when it comes to your cats, they can be fine one moment and then go all rabid on you and begin swinging and clawing at anything that moves. But sometimes those animal instincts come in handy, like when this cat found itself in a serious tussle with a coyote. Now make no mistake, coyotes are powerful dogs and they would usually be more than able to handle a cat, but this cat was not giving up its home or its porch without a fight. Not only did it get up in the face of that coyote multiple times, but it used the terrain to its advantage, such as when the cat went under the lawn chair and forced the coyote to come to it, and then it would scratch and paw it repeatedly so that it would see the error of its ways. The coyote did get some good licks in, but at one point the cat tried to escape and the coyote bit it around the body to bring it back down, which the cat repaid in full by scratching it repeatedly. Eventually the cat got to the higher ground and the coyote was forced to flee. Clearly that coyote had watched Star Wars because he knew not to underestimate the power of the high ground. Number 12. To Save the Baby now, I don't fully understand exactly what's going on in this clip, even with the commentary from those that filmed it, but it is a pretty harsh indicator of what happens in the animal kingdom sometimes. Here, we have some zebras at a watering hole, but you'll notice that one of them really doesn't like the new foal that's in the group, as it's trying to drown it. Yes, a zebra is trying to kill one of its own kind, and that's pretty horrifying if I can be honest. At first, none of the other zebras try to do anything at all, but then the mother of the foal realizes that she can't let her baby die and begins to fight back. A massive chase then begins and lasts until the end of the video, with the mother trying to protect her baby from the zebra determined to take its life. So why did they go after that baby? Well, according to one of the onlookers, it was because it was someone else's, if you get my drift. Even the animal kingdom hates cheating, but this is just taking it too far. Number 11. Save the Baby Again 
Now, if you thought that zebras were the only ones who were willing to go after the young of their own species, let me take you to a zoo enclosure where a bunch of gorillas began attacking one another when the alpha male of the group started going after one of the children. It's unclear why the gorilla did this, but the rest of the group wasted no time in defending the mother and her child from the big brute. There are some special praises that should be sung here, and for a very basic reason, being the size difference. The alpha male of a gorilla pack is the silverback, and they are that way because of how much bigger they are. That girth gives them incredible power to take on threats, so it should have been easily able to beat the lesser gorillas. However, yet because they stayed together, they did all that they could to protect the mother. The silverback gorilla eventually went off on its own to do its own business. Though something tells me that it's the kind of gorilla to hold a grudge. Number 10. Stop the Fighting Here's another bear story for you, but with one heck of a twist. Now we're at another zoo enclosure and we immediately see two small bears, presumably black bears, scrapping at one another something fierce. When the fighting begins, two of the zoo attendants who are in the enclosure with the bears, for reasons unknown, decide to try and stop the fight. To their credit, they are fearless in trying to stop them. They throw objects at them, they try to split them up, and they even make loud noises and more. It doesn't work and the bears just continue to fight, but the effort is appreciated. I'm not sure why they felt the urge to stop them outside of just not wanting to see the fighting in the zoo, but they're lucky that the bears didn't stop their squabble so that they could focus on those two instead. Number 9. Kangaroo Match now, believe it or not, a lot of people want to see kangaroo fights happen. There are plenty of pieces of media that have depicted kangaroos as being boxers or having such strong legs that they can kick a person a long ways away. But how do they actually fight? Well, here's your chance to see, and as you can tell, they fight as though they don't have much fighting experience. They scrap and press their bodies against one another to get their foe to move, and fortunately for one of those kangaroos, they were able to shove their rival into a fence so hard that it collapsed on impact. The foe didn't return after that, and while I can't confirm it, the kangaroo who came out on top was a bit stunned by the turn of events. Sometimes it's just better to be lucky than it is to be good. Number 8. Mother Goose now, I can't say that the goose in this video is female, but I do know one of these geese are. Anyone who's come into close contact with these fowl know that they can be fine one moment and then crazy the next. I speak from personal experience on this matter. <laughs> In this clip, a group of giraffes are wandering around an area at the same time that a flock of geese are moving through. The geese have their children with them, and one of them isn't too pleased that the giraffes are that close. They fly up at the giraffes in order to get them to back off. Obviously, the giraffes aren't going to hurt the ducklings, but the mother-slash-father goose likely doesn't realize that, and thus does its parental duties. Number 7. Hippo Bite Let's be blunt here for a moment. Hippos? I don't care about your kids show or your movie where you saw a funny hippo like in Madagascar, because in the wild, they're one of the most dangerous and fearsome things around, and you would be wise to keep a far distance away from them if you want to keep your head. Or you can just do what this lion did and almost lose your head by poking something that shouldn't have been poked. Now apparently, the lion thought that there was a dead hippo on its hunting ground and decided to investigate. But then, when the hippo woke up and the lion tried to fly, it didn't let the cat do that. Instead, it charged at it, grabbed it by the head, and almost crushed it to death. The lion did get away in the end, but it's going to think twice before ever going after a hippo again. Number 6. Apex Predators Tussle There are certain ecosystems in the world where multiple apex predators exist. One such area is in Africa, where you have things like lions and crocodiles living not too far from one another. So what happens when these two top dogs duke it out? Well, in this case, the lion proves why it's the king. The crocodile is oh so slowly going through its territory of the lions as though it's doing nothing wrong, but you know that the lions feel differently about that. So they slowly begin picking on the crocodile 
until it finally beats it back into the waters where it's safe. Apex predators typically don't go after one another, but that doesn't mean a fight's not going to happen when the timing is right. Number 5. The Power of the Mongoose There's a reason that slow motion exists in our world. It's because slow motion capturing something in its movement and action can make hidden details be revealed that changes how we look at things. Watch a bullet being fired in slow motion and you'll see what I mean. Oh, and it makes things also look totally more awesome. For example, let's have a look at one of the most heated rivalries in the animal kingdom, a snake versus a mongoose. These two are always going after each other, and as you can see in this slow motion shot, there's a reason the mongoose can hold its own. Because not only can it dodge a strike by a powerful snake, it looks like it's defying gravity as it moves through the air. Dodging a strike like that's not easy, but the mongoose made it look effortless. Number 4. Run, Iguana, Run the fight-or-flight response is something that's universal in our world. Both humans and animals have it, and what they do depends on the species that they are and their reliance on certain skills. In this clip from Planet Earth 2, because we all know the BBC gets the best animal documentary shots, a group of snakes is trying to make a meal out of an iguana. At first, the iguana plays it cool and tries not to provoke anything, but when the snake charges at it, the iguana then runs. It runs right into a trap as a coil of snakes bite and wrap around it, and you would swear at this point it's the end for that creature. But instead, the iguana is able to wriggle free and bust a move up some rocks and dodge more snakes along the way to its path to safety. That iguana should have been a goner, but it didn't give up, and so it lived. Number 3. Eagles vs. Bear now here's a matchup that you wouldn't think would happen in the wild, but remember, bears can climb trees with incredible skill and efficiency, and that means going after bird nests is possible. Here, a couple of bald eagles are minding their own business on the top of a tree which contains their nest, and then a bear comes out of nowhere and begins climbing up the tree. At first, the bald eagle flees, likely to see if it was going after them, but then, when the coast is clear and the bear was still climbing, they went in to attack and defend the nest. While I can't tell who won that scrap, you can see that the eagles are doing all they can for their nest and their eggs. They want nothing more than to get that bear out of there, and they're willing to fight in order to save their kin. Number 2. Untitled Goose Game in Real Life this one isn't going to end the way that you think, I promise you that. Have you ever played the Untitled Goose game? Well, if you have, you know your entire job is to be an annoying goose who messes with people, animals, and whatever else you can find within the space of the title. But in this clip, we have a goose trying to do that with a horse, and it almost gets them killed. Because as that goose steps up to the horse to say hello, the horse is not amused and kicks the goose in the neck and head at full power. Now, just to be clear, the hoof of a horse is powerful enough to kill a person if aimed in the right spot, and you can see the goose falling over, and while I don't think that it's dead, it's definitely not okay. Number 1. Bad Raccoon have you ever met someone that you instantly cannot stand and you desire to toss them around the room? Oh, you have? Well, great. Well, that urge happens more literally in the animal kingdom, such as in this zoo exhibit, where a raccoon had somehow wandered into a chimpanzee enclosure and stirred up some trouble. But then it was the one in trouble because one of the chimps grabs it by the tail and refuses to let go and then just tossed it across the pen. Now, when the raccoon realized the mistake that it had made and tried to flee, the chimps then grabbed it mid-escape and pulled it back into the pen. This is the ultimate, you don't show up into my house and cause trouble scenario, and the raccoon learned its lesson in multiple painful ways. That's all from the realm of animals and how they sometimes get lucky when a predator comes after them. Were you surprised that so many instances of this were caught on camera? And which of these clips did you find the most thrilling? Do you know of another attack that we missed that could easily have fit onto the list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.